Well, police are looking to change the way they respond to people living with mental illness by focusing on the victims. NBC 15's Amy Flugsopt takes us inside the training. 911, what's the address of the emergency? We're seeing an increase in cases where we're interacting with persons in mental health crisis. Hey, Kate. One officer who sees these instances Kate? firsthand. Hi, I'm Jess with Sauk Prairie Police Department. He joined the force just last June. Okay, if we come in? And is quickly finding out these are delicate situations that must be handled differently. They're training us on how to de-escalate situation and use our words to better get subjects help that they need versus punishment. Kimmy had called. She thought you might be looking to harm yourself tonight. We've kind of become that first line, more social services that, that used to be about, um, has kind of fallen on to law enforcement. Captain Michael Newton with the UW-Madison Police Department said in January alone, his department responded to 18 mental health cases. From a person who's feeling suicidal to just a transport to the hospital. Um, but we're seeing more and more, and it, it, each month it fluctuates, um, but we need to be prepared for those cases. So to help those on the front lines better understand mental illness, Officers are partnering with the National Alliance on Mental Illness, Dane County, for crisis intervention team training. Some of the skills that they're learning is having that space between them and the individual, getting on their level, having an even calm tone of voice. You're not in any trouble. We're here to help you, okay? Over the past few days, 37 officers from 14 departments in seven different counties attended the crisis intervention team training. It's a 40-hour program split up into 50% classroom time and 50% hands-on training. Whether it's self-harm, if it's harm to others, if they're in a manic episode, um, hoarding. Officer Hansen is now CIT certified and will put these new skills to use when he's out patrolling the streets. We're not here to be authoritative or to get people in trouble, we're here to help. In Madison. So is that something that sounds like you'd be willing to, to go with us and... Amy Flugsop. And talk with somebody tonight? NBC 15 News. Great. Well, the captain says don't ever hesitate to contact police if you feel there is a mental health crisis. You can always ask for a CIT officer who is specially trained for these situations. And if you or someone you know needs help, we have a full list of local mental health resources on our website, NBC15.com. Just click on this story.